Hi. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Point Blank with me, Nicola, and Christine. Yeah. Okay. Hi. And on our show tonight, we have Matthew. 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 Is from, yeah, he's from GoMovieDate.com. He's the founder. Yeah. Okay, and introduced. Okay, and over here on mm-hmm. my corner is a couple, um, Sean and Victor, and Hi. they actually met each other online. Okay, so, so yeah. we've got all these, you know, um, GoMovieDate.com, and they met online. Could so you... can you guess what our topic is all about? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? No, I... Oh, wait, <laughs> I did. Okay, I'm the host. I should know. <laughs> yes, tonight we're talking about, you know, um, couples and... Okay, generally it's third party help, whether it's matchmaking, um, online dating agency, yes. or physical, you know, walk in and so look for your partner. So it's all about couples finding yes. love in the most unexpected places and in the most non traditional places. Yeah. But yeah. So basically, we're mm-hmm. going to explore the pros and cons of this whole idea of looking towards a matchmaker or a third party of some sort mm-hmm. to go and help you out when you have your relationship woes and all that stuff, right? Yep, yeah. correct. <laughs> okay. So I'm sure all of you know what it's like. Well, you guys know, and then Matthew, sure Matthew knows. <laughs> okay, but anyway, let's see what people on the street have to say about whether they would date someone from a dating agency. Check it out. Okay. Go. Would you use a dating agency? Uh, no. Why not? Mm, because I got a boyfriend. Okay. <laughs> if you were single, would you use one? Mm, maybe not. Why? Mm, because it's I feel like not naturally. Maybe. Okay. Can. How about one online? Mm, you know, maybe you post your profile. You use that. Mm, okay. Do you think you can find someone? Mm, yes, I think so. Okay, but if you're single, would you use one? Probably not, you know, yeah. Would you use one online, like an online personals column or something? Nah, not really. No, not at all. Yeah, not at all. So you're confident you'll just go out and meet someone instead? Yeah, natural is better, <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. Why not? Uh, need money, right? I think we just uh, go through our own network. How about meeting people online, like through either like social networking like Facebook or even like a dating agency online? Uh, I don't think that was very safe, uh. No, how about okay. uh, unless it's those um, like you know someone you know, then you can meet them online, talk. And so how would you find like a boyfriend? Would you just prefer to meet someone randomly at a restaurant or something, or like your friends' friends or something? Friends' friends, I will uh, still accept it, but not someone whom I don't really know. I would rather uh, date naturally. Okay, how about using one online? Using one online, no, still no. Not even I prefer the natural way because uh, same background is better. I don't think I have any chemistry online. So yeah. you do believe you have to meet someone face to face? Yes, yes. No, I just find it kind of awkward, uh, you know, meeting someone online. You know, it's kind of like uh, it's very artificial. It's not. It's not. No. No. Why not? I don't know. I guess kind of. It's not that fun. I think that's why I wouldn't use dating agency. I would just rather meet up with... I get to know my girlfriend through my friend, so, yeah. Um, I'm still young, so I don't need a service. Okay, how about one online? No way you can post your profile, or even through, like, social networking. Uh, yeah, I have it. Would you use it to, like, find a date? Uh, yeah, why not? So, online's okay, but, like, a physical dating agency is not? Yeah. Why? Um... Internet is more advanced now, so mm-hmm. you just post, people just message you, then you meet up with them. So is it easier than, you know, walking into an agency? Yeah, it's much more easier. Um, no. Why not? Um, because I have a boyfriend. Okay, if you were single, would you use one? Um, no. Um, um, too traditional. Okay, how about one online? Um, no, I don't think so. Um so weird <laughs> I don't know. it's so weird to meet people online so you'd prefer to go out with someone you know or your yeah. friend yeah probably someone I know no why not huh why not uh, because I don't think it's worth okay how about one online nope why not it won't work <laughs> yeah isn't it easier to meet someone online uh, friends yeah no. not for like a date yeah
Would you use a dating agency? Would I, uh, yeah, I probably would. You would? But I'm married. So. Okay, if you were single, would you? I, I guess, yeah, it's, it's a good avenue, I suppose. Okay, how about one online? I've heard of it, but I would I use it? Maybe, I guess. Okay. Do you think you can find someone through a dating agency? Do you think it's possible? I, I think it's possible. I've seen people who have done it. I've, I've seen friends who've got, okay. who've got mates through there. Wow. wow. Well, we've had a lot of <laughs> reactions while we, while More the negative ones. we were talking. <laughs> yeah. Everybody actually like frowns and goes like, no. I know. And it seems like the buzzword is natural. 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 How do you meet someone in a natural yeah. way? What, what do you what, think of natural? Think is, yeah. natural way? Yeah. Matthew, what do you to, think? To me, I, I think what they meant by natural way is probably faith. You know, the traditional day, way. Yeah, faith there. Uh, <laughs> I was walking down the street, the guy bumped to me. So in a serendipitous there. manner, like like some storybook. Yeah, <laughs> like, 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 it's you, the yeah, MRT, the MRT, MRT, we talk to me and we talk to each other and eyes caught each other, things like that. That is naturally. That happens in a once in a million. Probably you know. yeah. yeah. nowadays, if you knock someone, they'll say, hey, why you knock me? Yeah. So, like, actually. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't think the fairy tale story is still uh, um, exist. Not not everyday stories. Mm -hmm. And naturally, this word is like, wow. Yeah. How do you get naturally every day? You you're not gonna get naturally. Uh, stuff happen to you. Then you gotta keep on waiting for the naturally. Maybe <laughs> yeah, could happen to you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, what well, about you guys? Shan, yeah. You know, <laughs> Everybody says, that, oh, meeting, oh, there were a few people who said it's dangerous to meet people online. Yeah, yeah. It's weird to meet people online, but you guys met online. <coughs> Can you yeah. tell us, you know, how oh. you decided to actually meet face-to-face? -face? Yeah. Actually, it's because our workplace are very near each other, so we just meet for a short lunch, like one hour lunch. Yeah. Okay. Were you guys, like, scared or apprehensive the first time you were meeting up? Um, no, because oh, we are okay. meeting in public area, like Boogie's <laughs> Junction. <laughs> so there's nothing like meeting, like, stalker people online? Yeah. yeah. Actually, no. Actually, we had a bet on that mm -hmm. day. Okay. Yes. Um, With each other? Yes. Because Boogie's Junction, there is the Pet Lover Centre. Uh -huh. So I commented once that they don't have any rabbits at the shop. So I have a bet with her. So I, I said there were rabbits. Yes. Yeah. On the day itself, there were rabbits. So, so I love the best. The meal. Uh, yeah, the meal. Oh, <laughs> so that nice. was like a good icebreaker <laughs> yeah. to actually, you know, get out and meet. Yeah. yeah. But were you guys like nervous about meeting each other? How long had you talked online before meeting each other? Five days. Four to five days. That's not bad. Days. Yeah, yeah. it's quite fast actually. So like you, you weren't really, um, you know. Well, we have heard of you know horror stories and all of that. Mm. So yeah, yeah. How come that that didn't stop you from? embarking on this unknown journey, so to speak. I feel that once we meet in public place, right, yeah. you'll still be safer. Yes, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Because right. there's nothing that, I mean, some stranger can do any harm to you. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I've been online for a very long time because I've been a quite a hardcore gamer. So I've met a okay. lot of people online. Okay. Mm. Online and offline. So I think this is just another meeting. So it doesn't really bother me Okay, at so all. it's not like a big deal yeah. or anything. It's just like meeting, you know, another friend. Yes. Okay. okay. Mm. So Matthew, you run an online dating agency. Yes. What mm. advice, do you give advice to your clients like how to go about meeting people? Like yeah. Meet mm. in a crowded place. <laughs> oh, for us, I go move there. They always meet in a the theatre first. Okay. Yeah, because we arrange them to meet in a theatre. Like uh, a lady say, they say, they're going to meet in a public place mm -hmm. and in a the theatre. Um, what are you going to do down there, right? Mm -hmm. In a the theatre, we're surrounded by everybody. And you can't be like, hey, what are you doing down there? <laughs> so it's not like a restaurant, make a fool of yourself, but it's in a the theatre. And uh, when uh, before the movie starts, you still have a half hour interact. Mm -hmm. Then after the movie starts, at least, you know, calm yourself down. Then you can do the icebreaker with the movie titles and uh, the story of that. But more importantly is that we, we, we always tell the members, say, um, Relax and go. Don't try too hard, you know. Be yourself. Yeah, yeah. be yourself. That's the word. But it's not easy to be yourself. A lot of people That's say, oh, true. Uh, not. Because but when you're overcome with nerves, you know, you don't think about yeah, being the thing yourself. It's like, yeah. oh, what, what I'm going to say? She only answer, when I ask her a question, she only answer yes or no. How am I going to, you know, for guys, mm -hmm. you'll start to think about topics. You know, when a lady is not a uh, response back, uh, very enthusiastic, mm -hmm. they start to think, Oh, what I'm gonna say? How she feel? Maybe she's not telling me much because she don't have a good impression of me. They start to think here, but we, we just tell them take, um, take it easy and um, use the movie titles uh, as mm -hmm. icebreaker. Then come yourself when the girl start response back, then they will feel better. So usually that will what we advise the guys, you know. Yeah, and uh, more more importantly is dress well. 
Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. Uh, you don't so come in slipper. Yeah. 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 yeah, we have cases that some people wear slipper and watch watch a uh, nine o'clock show, <laughs> thinking that it's alright. Uh, first impression. Yeah. Well, well that's true. speaking of impressions, so yeah. how did you guys find it? Like, do you remember Victor what Sean wore on your first date? <laughs> Because wore, ours is lunch hour, so yeah. we wore our office oh, yeah. 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 wear pink. I remember it was oh, pink. Oh, yeah. 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 and uh, skirt. Yeah. Wow. I can't remember shoes. I can't Do you remember, remember shoes. Sean? Sean, but you <laughs> Sean, Sean you remember? What's the colour of the tie? <laughs> I, I don't suppose, wear ties, so I suppose you wear white. <laughs> Actually, I don't have white. Oh, <laughs> white with stripes? Yes, yeah, white with stripes, yes. White with stripes, yeah. White with stripes. Okay, but I mean, mm-hmm. speaking of impressions, right? The other problem with, like, for example, mm-hmm. online mm-hmm. platforms is, um, you know, people pretending to be someone that they're not. You know, like if they're guys, for oh, example, yeah. they tend to make themselves. I seem have a taller. big house in the car, and, yeah, and I'm like fifty meters taller. Than <laughs> <laughs> and if you're a girl, oh my, my measurements are thirty six, twenty four, and thirty six. So were you guys apprehensive <laughs> about that aspect? You know, like of being <clears> able to. There's that possibility that your partner is actually deceiving you online. Well, mm. well, you meet already, you get to yeah. know the answer. <laughs> so, that's really yeah. yeah. That's, that's the why first thing we're... is you must have a open mindset. Yeah. You don't go with okay, this girl I think she'll you be say my what girlfriend. She is, uh, yeah. 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 Like that, uh. mm-hmm. You go with okay, I'll just make a friend. Yeah. Then we just see whether you progress. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> see how how it goes from yeah. there. Like we will always tell our guys say seeing is believe. Uh, mm-hmm. For us, we, because there's no chance for them to actually interact, uh, have a chance to say, okay, I'm this tall, I have a nurse, I have a big house, a bungalow with a swimming pool. So they have no chance to actually interact and tell, say what, what they have. Okay. But w- when they meet, they will know actually what they're saying is true or not. Things like that, uh, like you, you mentioned uh, the height, the mm-hmm. weight. If you mention that you are a slim, pretty kind of size, and then you, you come out, eh, it's different, you're huge. <laughs> yeah, then you will know that this guy is not truthful. So at the end of the day, like what the couple say, is seeing is believe. At the end of the day, you have to see and you have to communicate the guy with the person, <laughs> right? Isn't it? That's true. Yeah, same go 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 for uh, Facebook, those social network or or Friendster. Same thing. Right? <laughs> That's very true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, what do you think you guys would have done if, like, for example, Victor <laughs> didn't appear as he said he would? Like, what do you think you would have done? I think I would just have my normal lunch and get back to work and move on. I <laughs> <laughs> wasn't that bad. <laughs> 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 I mean, 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 I MSN. You, yeah, MSN yeah. is like, it's still relatively safe enough. That's you don't have to give your IC or give your <laughs> give your your numbers away, things like that. Yeah. I think email is a good way to start. That's true. Us, yeah. Okay. So you guys were basically talking about this whole idea of, you know, keeping it casual and keeping mm-hmm. it relaxed. How do you guys think that helps, especially in blind dates and first dates such as these? I I think being comfortable is the most important to get to know someone. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I want to ask something. Um, I have this... Okay, I have online friends. And sometimes when I meet them, not as a date or anything, but just to, you know, meet up because we have similar interests, Mm -hmm. I find that I can't talk to them. And I can talk to them a lot online. Did it ever occur to you? And, you know, did you have problems when you first met? Was it awkward? Yeah. No. Wasn't... in fact, in fact, we talk so much that we overshot our life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I went back, almost yeah. got a scolding for my boss. Yeah. Can <laughs> you tell them sorry I was meeting my date? I had a hot prospect. Uh, <laughs> so then something like that, then they, they just say, okay, fine, it's okay. Don't Not do too it often. Again. <laughs> <laughs> the next day, ask another day out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Ask a weekend. <laughs> yes, we yeah. Are. Yeah, yeah, that's the whole weekend, good. Yeah, I mean, Matthew, right, yeah. you're in the business of matchmaking, mm-hmm. so how do you actually make sure that you you know, you make good matches and, you know, like as what Nicholas said, that mm. they just don't, you know, end up being online friends yeah. and not having anything to talk to offline. Well, first thing, uh, our members actually, they do their uh, matching themselves. That means they select who they want to meet. Let's say I want to meet a guy who's uh, 23 to 28 years old and how tall and uh, uh, what kind of hobbies that he, he's uh, possessed, things like that. So they, they themselves do the selection. You know, our system just may, mainly just uh, filter them and give them a list. So from them, they actually have a clear mind who they're going to meet, like-minded uh, hobbies, things like that. 
So like uh, like mentioned, if they do not have anything to talk mm-hmm. about on the day, even beside the the movie movie show itself, they can at least talk. Oh, I understand you put out there why appreciation is your one of your hobby or or weightboarding. So they they can talk about something related. So it's like getting it all out in the open first, yeah, so yeah. you know what you're. Yeah, you're the, going to the get demographic least. profile is there, mm-hmm. and then they will put say maybe I work in the in the uh, education industry. So you say, are you a teacher or things like that? Uh, there at least there's some talking point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Rather than like you mentioned, if yeah. they very awkward, awkward <laughs> silence. Um. So what? What do you do? <laughs> and things like that. It's just like yeah. giving them like a helping yeah, coach, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Just to get so, started. And then uh, usually we will send one uh, final emailer to uh, the both parties. Say, okay, these are the few topics you can talk about. You work on, and then from there you have something to talk about. Then you are on your own. You know, they, so they they try to remember some of the pointers there. Yeah, there's a. So there's you guys point. are like love coaches as well. No. <laughs> you know, like hitch. No. <laughs> no. All right. Well, we're going to be talking more about this whole idea of non-traditional mm-hmm. matchmaking when we get back from, from our, our break. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, so see you.